How does support for the critical mineral industry look nearly two years after the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act? Donald Swartz is the CEO of American Rare Earth. Donald, welcome to Cape Cal. It's uh, great to be with you this afternoon. Let's start with American Rare Earth. What are you focused on, Donald? Uh, really, our focus, uh, I started in August and we, we had a transition or, or an Americanization of being purely a Australian junior exploration company to more project development. And we've been focused on our Hallett Creek project in Wyoming, which is about two hours north of Denver near the town of Wheatland, Wyoming. Uh, talk about uh, what's uh, particular about the focus of the project. Why on that? Uh, why you focus there? Well, we're focused there. One, uh, we like the grades. Um, the the mine plan is right around four thousand parts per million. Uh, we like the fact that it's zero cost strip uh, or not zero cost zero is stripping ratio, so very low cost mining, uh, mineralized at the surface, uh, very homogeneous, much like a stone quarry. So uh, crush, grind. Um, we, we had some news here recently around metallurgy and some of the work we were doing with DARPA, Department of Defense, Lawrence Livermore, where we've been able to pre-concentrate the ore. So uh, 4,000 parts per million with a 12 to 1 upgrade ratio, you're just shy of 5% trio uh, going into um, the, the processing side. So we, we really like the unit economics of things and we like the, the nature of the deposit. There's a lot of rare earths uh, that uh, that that encompasses a lot of elements there. Uh, talk about uh, the particular uh, most valuable rare earths, uh, Donald, and uh, how that uh, relates sure. to American rare earths. Yeah, we're for sure we're we're very blessed in that that our basket of trio, twenty seven percent of it, or the the magnetic rare earths. That's really our focus. Uh, I would say neodymium and praseodymium together, uh, dysprosium and terbium will be uh, the 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 primary focus of the project. Uh, now, there's been a number of uh, rare earth juniors that have been popping up, and that's uh, been uh, around uh, the importance of the strategic ports of critical minerals. But uh, when I see these projects they're talking about, uh, they always focus on the metallurgy, and you just mentioned metallurgy yourself. Why is that so important in rare earth projects, Donald? Well, I would say absolutely. The metallurgy is 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 very important. Uh, this this is as much a specialty chemical uh, business as it is a mining business where we're very blessed in that the mining is very simple, um, almost like crop farming. Um, I would say along with the metallurgy, permitting and infrastructure are probably uh, two and three to me. Um, the, the great thing about our asset is we've got a big uh, land position that's on state land that we can permit without uh, the, the delays that you might see with other projects in North America. And then uh, thirdly, just the development timeline and, and and how fast we can kind of go about it. I think that that's really, it's really encouraging to us. Uh, you were have uh, some uh, investment, or I should say you're uh, doing some work around uh, mineral processing that you announced. Could you talk a little bit about more about that, please? Yeah, absolutely. So if, uh, if you're familiar with uh, sort of lithium processing or, or coal processing or, or other minerals that use gravity separation or dense media separation, uh, we're we're really blessed in the sense that uh, the mineralization, the alunite that the, the rare earths are, are housed in, or are hosted in, I should say, uh, are are very dense. So we're able to make some pretty clear cuts on gravity separation, which allows us to get rid of uh, ninety plus percent of the gang right off the bat and pre concentrate the ore up. So that that was a really positive development that uh, we did in collaboration with Lawrence Livermore and uh, the University of Kentucky. Uh, now, uh, rare earth uh, prices have been falling. Uh, it seems like uh, every in the complex of uh, critical minerals. Can you talk about the economics of the types of prices that you need to see uh, for making these rare earth projects work? Sure, we're going to have a, a scoping study that's going to be released released here later this quarter, and uh, you know, really kind of drill down into it. Um, I would say that we're we're very encouraged and how the metallurgy and how the mining costs are sort of all coming together and, and feel comfortable even in today's pricing environment. Uh, now, uh, noted at the top, uh, the Inflation Reduction Act uh, passed in uh, August of 2022 uh, with its goals for investing in domestic energy and to promote uh, clean energy. Uh, is the law still making an impact, Donald? 
you know, I would say that the inflammation or the Inflation Reduction Act was was largely focused on battery components. Uh, there, there has really been a strong push. Uh, there was there was a letter written from the National Mining Association that had OEMs such as Tesla and uh, Piedmont and ourselves and some other folks who, who were signatories last week about Treasury's rules. So I think some of that stuff around 45X is still being determined, but. Um, you know, there are certainly a lot of government initiatives, uh, bipartisan infrastructure bill, Defense Production Act, uh, so on and so forth. So there, there, there clearly is a focus around the the, the transition to uh, to green energy. Uh, the really compelling thing to me about rare earths in the U.S. is it in a political environment where everything has become so polarized. It it's one of the few things that has, I would say, bipartisan support where you have uh, the Republicans here in the United States that are very focused on national security and, and uh, non-reliance on China and uh, where we're going with that direction. And then the, the Democrats are certainly very focused on the, the energy transition and uh, the green economy. So uh, uh, heads we win, tails we win. Uh, turning back to American Rare Earth, uh, Donald, are you funded? Uh, very well so. So, uh, you know, we're right around six million uh, Aussie dollars at the you know at the moment in cash, and about uh, a little bit more than five million dollars of uh, financial assets. So set up quite well to do what we want to do for quite some time. Uh, lastly, Donald, uh, what's milestones over the next twelve months? The clear focus right now is uh, scoping study, uh, PDAC, uh, test mine permit. Uh, working on some partnerships and pi then piloting uh, in, in kind of moving towards that pre-feasibility level uh, work. So it'll be a busy year. Donald, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you for your time. My name is Michael McRae. You're watching Kiko Mine. <laughs>